Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and uh, we're going to go over a couple of things today. I'm going to try to keep this super duper short. Uh, if you saw this morning's video, you might have some questions there. You're like, well, Phonix has all the drivers in it. Why can't you get a full screen? Well, actually, you're in a VM, a virtual machine, and you're at the limitations of the VM and the host, which is... Yeah, Windows. Uh, so, by the very nature of it, yeah, you just, it's not available. But, made a decision we're going to go with one of these uh, things right over there. And uh, we're going to get a Silicon Power 512. And that will allow me the necessary gigabit-ish room and uh, also I believe like I'm going to put the 128 on it first you know partition and drive using Linux <coughs> so we can set it as a dual boot <coughs> and uh, then we'll uh clone windows onto it this you know it's going to involve a little bit of a learning curve for me uh cloning it it's been a long time since i cloned an operating system and it's probably going to take forever to get windows over there and then we'll take a part of the oh that was bad i almost knocked that off of there oh that could have been very bad uh and then we'll clone the uh you know the windows and uh Take the unit apart and uh, pull up the one drive, take the drive out of the enclosure, put that drive in the enclosure as a spare drive. Uh, I can use it for something. I'll keep it around and not write anything to it till I'm sure it's working over here in the Zotac, the new one. And Windows will get a bigger partition. Linux will get a bigger partition. It will be able to install all the drivers, so I'll have a the full 1920 by 1080 display on my, you know, LED monitor, which would be very cool. Uh, no more booting to the virtual machine. Although that's kind of nice because you can let the virtual run in the background and go back to Windows and do your stuff. It has its limitations, though, obviously. And boy, does it get the CPU hot when you're running both. This thing normally runs right around 60 in the summertime, about 55 C in the you know, cooler days. And uh, yeah, it was at 75 yesterday, which is for this little Zotac, which has no fan. It's passively cooled. That's hot. It's really hot. I mean, it's nowhere near thermal cutoff, but it's warm. Put it that way. So uh, let's get to the rant now. The rant. Keep it short and sweet here. Uh, I'm a little tired of all these high-end reviewers who are obviously in the pocket of Huawei. You know, they have the pretty phones. They test them, and all they just go on and on about the cameras and how wonderful they are, and they can't believe Huawei is in trouble. Oh, oh. Okay, first, always in trouble because they're an arm of the Chinese communist Chinese government. You're going to have to take our government's word for that. I know, you probably still don't think we landed on the moon. Well, you're in that case if you believe that too. Because when England and Germany and other countries follow along, and when you get large corporations like Google and Qualcomm and arm to follow along and intel uh, they're probably being told stuff that we'll never know but yeah and and one way has been caught previously putting back doors in and stealing data so quit supporting huawei who gives a damn if they come out with their own operating system 
Don't buy the crap. Just don't. And that's all I have for today. Uh oh, I got tornado warnings and stuff going off. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Tornado mm. warning in this area. Tornado warning in this area. Daylight saving time. PM Central daylight Take saving time. Now. Check local Take shelter media. Now. NWS. Check local media. NWS. Wow, the sky is clear, and I'm getting tornado warnings. Go figure. Well, if I suddenly disappear during this video, you'll know what happened. All right. Uh, that's all I have for today. I'm keeping it short, so make sure if you found this entertaining, uh, informative, helpful in any way, and make sure to watch that video I did on Linux. It'll show you a little bit about how cool Linux is. I spent all day yesterday in there and never even noticed I was in Linux after about an hour. That's all I have. So, uh... click that subscribe button read the description below and uh, leave some feedback viable useful feedback and leave the thumbs up it's not that hard to do you click and share it Facebook Instacrap uh, Twitter I mean 30 seconds after I watch the video if I give it a thumbs up it's on my Twitter account usually Unless I just gave them a thumbs up for the effort they made. That's all I have. I'll catch you in the next one. There'll be some links up here and over there to recent videos. Thanks for watching.